Hi, today we're going to see how to create a fur text effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image. Go to File, here, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080. Press OK. Here, and now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out, like this. Now we're going to change the color of the background. Let's click here on the foreground. And now let's let's take this pink here. The HTML notation is E62A8F. Press OK. And now just drag over the color like this. So here it is. And now we're going to create a text here. So I'm going to switch the foreground color to white here. And now let's take our text tool here. Double click here, left click here to create a new text box like this. And now let's type our text like this. And now control A to select all the letters. And now I'm going to change the font size to 450 like this. So press enter to confirm the font type is lemon. And I increase the distance between the letters here by, uh, by clicking here on these two arrows here. As you can see, if you decrease the number, the, the spacing between the letters will decrease. I will increase it like this. I will leave it 75. And now let's take our alignment tool here, like this. Make sure the align is related to the image. Left click on the layer, text layer. And now let's align it horizontally and vertically, like this. And now we're going to make a path from our text. So go to your text layer, right click on it, here. Text to path, here. So now, as you can see, if I hide this layer, text layer, here's our path here. Here's a small red outline here. Here it is. Press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. I'm going to hide it here. If you want to remove these squares, just select another tool like this. So now I'm going to create a new layer here. Click on this little icon here, like this. Here it is. Fill it with transparency, press OK. And now we need to create a new brush to make our fur text effect. So now let's take our paint brush tool here. So let's take a brush with hardness of 100 here. Make sure the hardness and the force is 100. Reduce the size to, let's say, 20. 19 or 20, like this. And now on the tool options, so now scroll down on the dynamics. So I'm going to uncheck the apply jitter, leave these unchecked here. And now let's change the dynamics to here, pencil generic. Change it to this one here. So here it is. This is our, this is the settings our paintbrush tool and now take your paths tool and now we're going to trace paths here so left click and then drag to make curve like this and now click on this line here to be able to create a new path like this so here it is and now i'm going to create a new one so here make the path i will make the path cross here on this point so click on the line here to be able to just I will create here one. So here. Now if you want to move, I'm going to move it like this. So click here, just on this line. And now I'm going to add the last one here, like this. Here. So like this, I'm going just to adjust it. So here, like this. So now go to stroke to path we're going to click here 
and make sure to choose the stroke style, not the stroke line here, not this one. Choose the stroke with the paint tool, the paint brush tool, that's, that's the tool we just adjusted the settings. Make sure to emulate brush dynamics is checked. Now stroke. So here, I'm going to remove this line here, like this. I'm going to turn it to black here. I need the black color. So stroke path here, stroke with the paint tool, emulate brush dynamics, stroke. So here it is. And now if I take another tool, so this is our brush we're going to use. And now right click here. We're not going to save it. I'm just going to use it now. If you, uh, I will show you at the end how to save it. So right click here and then alpha to selection. So here it is, it is selected. And then control C to copy. As you can see, copied, copied pixels to the clipboard. So now I can use it as a brush. And now go to select here, none. Now you can hide this brush we just created. And now here's our text. So I'm going to bring another image here. I will put the link of the image in the description box. So this is the image I'm going to use. So here it is. So I will convert it here. So here it is. Now I'm going to reduce its size. Let's take our scale tool, left click on it, and then press Ctrl while scaling it to scale it proportionally like this. So here, or maybe I'm just going to leave it like this. So here, I will just take the rotation tool. Yeah, I will rotate it 90 degrees, press Enter. So like this, and now rotate. So here it is. And now right click on the image layer here, layer to image size. And now place the image layer under the background, the pink background, like this. And now here, let's show our text here. Right click on it, alpha to selection. And now hide it. And now from the background, right click and then Add layer mask with white full opacity here, add. So now since in a layer mask, the black represent transparency and the white opacity, if I fill this selection with black, it will show us the fur image. So here it is. And now if I go to select here, none. So here is our text here. So we need to add the fur effect now, that's where we're going to use our brush. So now we're going to change our brush here. So click here and then click to the, on the first one here. It will select the clipboard image. So this is the one we made here. So now we're going to reduce the size to 50 here. I'm going to leave it 53. Make sure the spacing is reduced all the way down to one here. And now check apply jitter. The amount is 0 0.51. And then we're going to change the dynamics of the brush and select track direction. So here at settings, we change the brush, the size 53, aspect ratio and the angle, we just left them as they were. Spacing, we just reduced it to one. Amount is 0 0.51 and the dynamics is track direction. So now let's go to our path tab here. Double click on the text path here we created before. Go back to your layers here panel. Make sure you're on your layer mask here. The foreground is black here. We're going to paint with black with the paintbrush, so it will show us the layer under it, the image layer, and then stroke path. Make sure the stroke with the paint tool, the paintbrush is selected and emulate brush dynamics. And now stroke. So here it is, and now 
let's select another tool so here's our first text effect here so here it is i'm going to add the drop shadow so i'm going to extract this image here the text here so i'm going to right click on the layer mask mask to selection here as you can see it selected what's outside of our text here so we need to invert the selection go to select invert so as you can see it selected the text here and now go to your image layer this one here selected hide the pink layer the, with the layer mask press ctrl c to copy what the selection here and now let's create a new layer here like this fill it with transparency and now for example we can so i'm just going to copy it first so Control v to copy it like this let's hide our image layer so here it is and now click on this icon to create a new layer and add it to the image it's flaunted selection here so like this so here it is now for example let's take our transparent layer we just created now i'm going to change its color so let's take our pink we used before so here it is so here it is here is our third text effect so now i'm going to add the drop shadow to the text here so click on the fur text well right click on it and then layer to image size here and now go to filters light and shadow drop shadow so i'm going to add a small drop shadow to it so i think here it's okay maybe i'm going to reduce it a little bit so here and now press ok so here it is now right click on it and then layer to image size like this and now if you want to save the brush we just created hide these layers here let's go to the first layer we just left here this one here and now go to file export as so i'm going to export it on this folder here i'm going to change the name here let's change it to fur brush like this and now we need to change the extension here so press on this plus icon here to select the file here the file type and now here it is the, it's the it's a gbr file we need to save it as a gbr file a gym brush here and now export and now here it is now the description for brush the spacing i'm just going to leave the spacing to 10 here export so here it is now it's exported so now we need to place it in the brush folder in gimp so to do so go to edit here preferences and now scroll down here like this go to the folders press on this plus icon here to open all these folders so here's it's this first one here go to brushes select the brushes folder and now select this one the first one gym 2.10 brushes and now click on this icon to open the file here uh, sorry made a mistake click on this one here show file so here it is and now double click here to enter the fur here as you can see i already saved it so for example i will delete it here like this you just need to save it so i'm just going to press ctrl c here and now go to the brushes and then ctrl v so here it is this is a photoshop brush so now in order to install this brush you need to restart gimp so now let's go back to gimp let's close the preferences window so here it is so if you want to install the brush now you need to close it and then to open it again and you will find it
so let's see our third text again so that's it i think that's how we can create a fur text effect and also create a brush in game so thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time bye bye